Hey, I hope you're doing good. It's Chris here from Six Dream Finger Picking. In this lesson, we're learning how to play Jenny Wren by Paul McCartney. The first thing that you want to do is get your guitar into the correct tuning because for the original recording, McCartney, he tuned his guitar down a whole step. So that means you want to tune your low E string down to the note of D, the A string down to the note of G, the D string down to C, the G string down to F, the B string to A, and the high E string down to D. Get that and you're good to go. Really hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you do, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, press the notification bell, and leave me a comment telling me what you think of the lesson. Let's get into it. If you've already learned how to play Blackbird, then you should be okay with this song, Jenny Wren, because it uses the same picking uh, technique um, that's used in Blackbird. If you think of Blackbird, and then Jenny Wren. It's basically the same technique, so that kind of takes care of this sound, if you've already learned how to play that one. And the chords in this, they're, they're not too strenuous in your fretting hand. So let's jump in and start learning it. So we're going to we're gonna start on a C chord, hold that down, and you want to start by playing the first string and the fifth string together. And then we're going to do a really light strum down, but really we're just targeting the third string. Okay, so like that, and it's a down pick. And then alter the bass, shift it down to the sixth string third fret, play that with the third string on the second fret. Okay, and then again that's followed by a light strum, as I say, just targeting that third string. So you got this so far. And if you're not used to that technique, I recommend just practicing that round until you get that nice light touch um, and get comfortable with it because it can be really quite delicate and intricate if you're not used to it. Once you get to there, it goes to an A minor chord. So hold that down and play strings two and five and then hammer the third fret on the second string. That's followed by a light strum. Okay, and then up on the second string third fret. So that's, and then the bass changes to the open sixth string, and then we're going to pick up on the third string, followed by another very light strum. And if you knock in, knock into, um, uh, you know, maybe the the fourth string when you're doing your strum, that's absolutely fine. Don't worry about it. Just you just want to target the third string. That's all. But you just want, as I say, a nice light touch. So once you get to that point, you're still holding this down here. So you want to play the second string and the fifth string together. Light strum up on the second string, bass in the sixth string this time, and then up on the third, followed by light strum. So that's really just a pattern once on it. And then what you do, you go back to regular A minor, so you want to play the first fret on the second string with the fifth string of the bass together, and do your hammer on again, and then strum down. Okay, so your A minor. Is that. And it briefly goes to a G before going to an F. So on this G, hold down of course the third fret in the sixth string, play that with the first fret on the second string together, and pull off that first fret to open. And then you're going to come down, really targeting the D string this time, and then second fret on the third string. So like, sorry. Okay, and that leads to our F chord. Okay, so I catch my thumb around the back and I play the first fret on the sixth string, like that, and then a light strum up, really just on the D string, and then a light strum down. So, like that, so. 
okay and then strings three and six together followed by a light strum down and then again three and six light strum down so from the G then it goes back to G you just need the third fret on the sixth string play that with the open second string followed by a light strum okay so back to the beginning So as you can see, for all of that, I'm just using my thumb and my index finger. If you want to get your second finger in there to play the top string, of course, that's absolutely fine. But really, you can do the whole song just with these two fingers. So after that, it goes back to A minor. For four bars. And really, so you're going to start with your second string open. Play that with the fifth string and then hammer the first fret, strum, up on the first string, sorry, the second string, first fret, so. And then bass on the sixth string, then up on the third string, followed by strum. So like. Okay. That's basically the pattern that's used throughout when we're hanging around on chords, as you'll see as we get more into the song. So once you've done that once, then you're going to go strings two and five, and then down, and then up on the second string, bass on the sixth string, and then again up on the third, and strum. So that's the pattern. Okay, so. And then three more times, just with the normal pattern. And that's your introduction. So here it is once more. And as I say, it's all about getting that nice light touch with your picking hand. It takes a bit of work if you're not used to it, but just stick with it and you're going to get it. So then you're into the verse, and great news, it's basically the same as the intro. So, exactly the same as before. But once you get to this A minor, instead of just hanging around on that for four bars, you do two bars on that. And then it goes up to C minor. Because Paul McCartney's pretty sneaky and he's kind of he's flipping between the key of C major and C minor. Alright, so once you've done two bars, once you get to there, we stay on A minor for half of the next bar, and all you do is play strings two and five, followed by a strum, and then we've got a G with a B in the bass, so that's the third fret on the second string and the second fret on the fifth string together. And then strum, so that's okay, and then play those two strings again and slide the shape up two frets. Sorry, one fret like that, and then you've got a down strum and then up on the second string. Then we move the bass to the sixth string, pick up on the third string, and then a light strum down. So, from that, coming out of the A minor. And then we just do our pattern three more times on that C minor, alternating the bass every time. And then that just goes round again. And then once you get to the end of the C minor that we've just done for the second time, it then goes into the bridge. 
This section is so much fun to play. Uh, it goes like this. into another verse. Okay, so this is in C minor, the bridge is in C minor, and we've got those, those, um, you know, blackbird style chords here. So the first one, we're up on the fifth string, sixth fret, and the second string, eighth fret, and you're doing just like, as I say, just like in blackbird, so you've got the G string ringing in there as well. Okay, so we do our pattern on that chord. Okay, and then it goes down to this C minor here that we just did. So the third fret on the fifth string and the fourth fret on the second. And we do our pattern on that. So. Okay, delicate work. And then we've got this lovely So that's like a F minor, kind of a C with an E in the bass, and then A flat uh, with an E flat in the bass, if you like, if you want to call it that. So the F minor, bar the top two strings, or the top three strings, and get the third fret on the fourth string in there. But what I do is I'll play the first and the fourth string together, followed by a light strum down. Okay, so just like that. And then same on our C chord. So I've got the third fret on top, then the first fret on the second string, and then the second fret on the fourth string. But same in the picking hand. Together on strings one and four, followed by a light strum. So. Okay, like that. And then our A flat is like this. Barring the first fret on the top four strings, and then adding the fourth fret on the first string. And we just do our pattern and it's just shifted up. So I'm playing strings one and four, light strum, targeting the B string really, and then up on the first string, followed by bass, pick up on the third string, light strum. So so far. And then just a G7 chord, like this. Play the first and the sixth string together. Strum, really targeting the B string here. Up on the first string, bass. Up on the third string, strum. It's in the top two strings. And then it's exactly the same, but instead of targeting the top two strings, this time target the second and the third string. So, so you get. That way it follows the vocal line a bit better. So that's the first half of the bridge. And then we walk up. Back to our E flat. So it's the fourth fret on the second and the third fret on the fifth. Together, light strum. Up two frets, same thing in the picking hand. And then we're back to our A, so our E flat. So on our E flat, we just do the pattern once on that. And then it's up to an E minor seven, so just take the sixth fret, push it up one fret. And do the pattern twice on it. Okay, so. Very nice. 
nice. And then F. We do that part again, this descending bass with an ascending on top. Just like before. And then the G7. Just like before. And then that goes back for four bars just on our C minor with the alternating bass. So the second half is very similar, there's just a couple of small nuances in it. So let me play the, the whole of this bridge for you once more, nice and slow. If you don't need practice, of course, play along. One, two, three, four. Walk back up. E minor seven. Two bars. and then our C minor for four bars preparing for the next verse which comes in right there. So once you go through another verse you've then got this sort of instrumental section, this in, the interlude if you like. So this section goes Into another bridge. So, not too hard to play this part if you're okay with the rest of it up to this point. So it starts on the C minor, okay, just like we've done a whole bunch of times. You do your pattern on that, okay, and then it's B flat. So that's the third fret on the second string and the first fret on the fifth together, followed by a really light strum down, bass and third string together by a really light strum down. So like, the strum is so light it's almost a ghost note. Like that. Okay. So you've got and then it goes to our A minor. So that's with the A minor, start with the first finger off, so the open second string, play that with the fifth string, hammer it on, and then do the rest of the pattern as normal. So we strum up on the second string, bass in the sixth string, up on the third, light strum. So, and then just the pattern as normal. So walk two and five, strum, second string, bass, up, down. So, okay, if you put all of that together, you've got that. And you do that twice, um, and then the third time, you've got the C minor, the B flat, just like before, the A minor, but you only do one bar on the A minor because after you go to an F like this, thumb around the back, or you could bar it, that will work just fine. Um, but an F chord like this and do the pattern on that. So string six and two, strum up on the second string, bass up on the third string, strum, so like that, and then our C. So it's the same thing, just an alternating bass over a C chord. And that's your bridge, so not too tricky. Let me play it once more for you. two bars, and 
and that goes straight into another bridge. The only other section of the song that you have left to learn is the outro, and it goes like this. Okay, so that's going A flat. You, know, you can borrow it if you want to, but I really like the thumb round the back method. And then down to an F. So if you're okay with the F, a flat, I'm sure you know, but it's the fourth fret, same as this, F, but just pushed up to the fourth fret. Okay, but really, I like it like this because you want that open first string to ring out there. So holding down this A flat, what you want to do is play strings three and six, and then strum, and then up on the second string, followed by bass, up on you know roughly the fourth string followed by strum so like that and then down to your F and play strings two and six down strum up on the third string bass up on the fourth strum so So put that together so far. And then it's ever so slightly different after that. You go back to your A and you've got. So on the A flat, I should say A flat, play strings three and six, strum up on the second string, bass up on the open first string and a light strum. Adds a lot of tension, so. Like that, but it's fast. Okay, so once you've done that, down to your F, just like before. So first time. Second time. third time is the same as the second time so again get the open first string in there and down to your F and you're done and you can just strum a C chord and you have completed the the outro So that's it, you've got all the parts of the song, you just need to listen to the tune and jigsaw them all together. Okay, so that's it for this lesson. I really hope that you've enjoyed. If you did, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, comment. Check out some of the other videos I have here on my channel. And if you want to really invest in your playing, then try out one of my fingerstyle courses that I have on my website. You can try them out for free when you join my mailing list. So the link to that is in the description. But until next time, thanks a lot.